Welcome back to the Game Logic Design tutorial series on the paintbrush. Right now, what we're just going to show you is projecting a stencil onto multiple materials. Now, in order to do this, I've got a uh, little tool that I've written to quickly create a material for every single polygon on this model here. So, let me just show you this model. It's just obviously a 10 by 10 plane. And I'll make it editable and I'll just click my button here. This won't be part of the plugin. It's just for testing purposes. So here, this is the software mode for body paint. Um, and you can see it only displays 50 materials, but OpenGL displays more materials. It can display, I don't know how many, but I've had it going up to about four or 500 materials in my tests. But this is just a 10 by 10, so that's 100 materials on the surface there. And you can see all the, all the textures, all the materials down there. And each one of these materials, I'll just switch to a body paint layout. Each one of these textures, you can see the, all of them there, is a 512 by 512 uh, image and it's 8-bit. So I'll just switch back to the startup layout here. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to project on a stencil just to show you what's working at the moment. We'll just drag this on here. And we have the eye that we use here. And I'm just going to position that over the model. And uh, so there you can see it there. And I'm going to switch to... One of the draw modes, I'm going to use the fill rectangle mode, and I'm just going to drag over them like so, and it's just going to project that eye down onto the texture. Now it's done a lower pressure value, uh, I'll just hide the stencil there, you can see, but I'm just going to increase the pressure value to do a full blend. Let's just do that again, and hide the thing there, and there you can see it's projected the eye down onto the surface of multiple materials. So we can now go along and uh, look at any of these materials. Uh, just to make sure actually, you know, I find one, I'm going to do a projection once more. I'm going to scale this right up and I'm going to do it over the entire thing like this just to project it down over all the materials. And then we have that and so now I can hide my stencil. And now if I go to any of these textures in the body paint layout, we will see color on each of these textures as the stencil has been projected down onto it. And here we just have a quick test of a plane with two materials on either side. And as you can see, you can paint over multiple materials as well.